So Mexico has a very rich and diverse culture and history. So as me and Madeline were tasked with presenting the culture of Mexico for our booth, we decided to create a trifold that um, exhibited some important and notable just details and facts about Mexican culture or Hispanic culture and history. So we listed the official name as the United Mexican States, um, but the capital is Mexico City and we listed the population as well, just kind of some basic facts. We listed that the geography kind of includes high mountains, deep canyons, sweeping deserts, and, des and dense rainforests. So there's kind of a vast variety of geography in Mexico, um, which in part or in turn plays a part in its culture. Um, we also have a few little details about the nature that it's a refuge for um, all kinds of different animals ranging from extreme um, cold and warmer environments as there are many different temperate environments throughout the country. And we listed a little bit about um, the history of Mexico underneath where we put the flag in the very middle. So we noted that the Olmec people were their first complex society. They were then followed by the Maya, Toltec, and Aztec people who built great cities and huge pyramids, studied the stars and planets, and in the early 1500s, the Spanish arrived in Mexico and ruled until 1821. Um, we kind of included just a brief detail about the, how the government set up, that the official language is Spanish and the currency is pesos, um, which all play a part in the culture. And most importantly, we highlighted a little bit about the people, um, the people of Mexico and how what's important and relevant to their culture. So we said that there's a rich Native American heritage, um, that Mexico has experienced three centuries of Spanish rule and is, um, takes great pride in sports such as bullfighting and rodeo and that people that compete in these sports, competitors will often put their lives on the line. That's how important these sports are to them. We also listed that um, another really important thing to the people of Mexico is that it's home to great artists, so muralists, sculpturists, photographers, jewelers, etc. And what we did for our activity was that we decided to highlight Frida Kahlo, who was a very notorious and infamous artist from Mexico. Um, so to be able to encompass just a big part of Hispanic culture, we decided to focus on her and incorporate reading and STEAM um, activities into our booth and everything that we did. So we just we specifically highlighted, like I said, all these aspects about Mexico to give familiarity with the location and the environment. And then we chose to um, specifically recognize and highlight the work of the infamous painter from Mexico, Frida Kahlo. So I began by reading a doing an interactive read aloud of the book Frida Kahlo and her Animalitos. Um, and I, as, throughout the way, I asked some guiding questions about the book and its content to make it interactive um, and to work with student comprehension of what they were listening to. So um, I focused on also any Spanish vocabulary words that came in throughout the story um, and noted the Spanish and English um, versions of each word to be able to show um, each language and focused on those as well as comprehension of the story. So some activities that we included along with this story were a little handout that was had a brief, a more brief passage that was all about Frida Kahlo and gave more um, broad facts compared to the book, which was a little more specific. And then had some comprehension questions on the back that just kind of were to grasp student understanding and, you know, all of that. Um, literacy kind of focus. So the questions were like, what were some of the things that Frida Kahlo experienced in her life? Um, what did she like the, to paint the most? And what helped her get through the difficult things in her life? So this was kind of, we kind of incorporated it if we had time during our booth, students completed it then um, either independently or depending on how many students we had, we did it all together. Um, or they were, many parents wanted to take one home if they didn't have time to do it then for their students or children to complete at home. Um, so that kind of in integrated our literacy into our booth. I also had some flashcards that had these Spanish vocabulary words that I highlighted both in Spanish and English. Um, and students, when we had the opportunity, were tasks, tasked to match the Spanish and English vocabulary words. Um, but we also had them available as a resource for parents to take home. Um, so this was how we integrated reading into um, our Mexico booth. Um, once the students had kind of an understanding of who Frida Kahlo was after all these activities, Madeline kind of took over um, on the STEAM side, and we both kind of helped students to make their own paintbrush 
in order to um, practice what Frida Kahlo practiced, which was painting self-portraits. So they were able to make their own paintbrushes out of different materials. They were provided the materials and allowed to be creative and engineer their paintbrush in whatever way they wanted to. So this was how we incorporated um, a steam side to our booth. Um, once their paintbrush was perfect in their eyes and how they wanted to have it, they were able to paint a self-portrait just like Frida Kahlo and honor her in their artwork and able to be able to understand a little more about her role in Hispanic culture and the culture in Mexico and her importance. So through specifically choosing her, we were able to easily focus on reading and STEM integrated activities in order to allow students to develop a better understanding about um, culture in Mexico and a little bit more of a specific look at the art culture. Um, so students seem to really enjoy a lot their creativity, um, being able to flow and being able to create their own paintbrush as well as create a self-portrait. So overall, this is how we incorporated um, different activities and different reading and STEM options and activities to highlight this culture in our booth.